Hello, Leo. Welcome to this 2021-2022 year-end review, year-in review, whatever. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, okay? And it's so general that it's really, like, this whole series is really uh, meant to be placed in whichever area of your life of your life that it fits. So that means that this could be for anything that you have placed in Leo, whatever planet, whatever, whatever, okay? Um, obviously, though, with that said, your main three are going to resonate the most, sun, moon, and rising, especially with your rising sign being at the top of that list. But take it as it resonates, guys. Watch for any placement that you like. If you want to watch a bunch of different placements and compare and contrast notes, highly recommend it, yes? So we have two decks here. The first deck we are going to use uh, is going to look at the year of 2021 and we're going to look at what that has been for you and then we're going to take use another deck and we're going to look at what 2022 could be looking like for you uh messages that you spirit wants you to know or that you need to know heading into the new year and then we're going to close out the reading with some oracle guidance for you and the oracle deck that i have chosen or that i've been called to for this reading is the earth warriors oracle okay Excellent, Leo. So let's dive into this here. We're going to get started, started with the first deck. I am being instructed to give this five shuffles for you, and we'll see what the year of 2021 has been for you. Yes, five shuffles for my Leos. Here we go. One. Two. Four, Leo. What has 2021 been like for Leo? What has 2021 represented for Leo? This is three. What challenges have you went through? What lessons have you learned? What have your experiences been like? This is four. For Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. And this is five. This is five. Okay, so we have a card that wants to come out already. Let's see what that is. It is the Nine of Cups. It's interesting, Leo, because I'm looking at that card and the first thing I feel like, well, well, 2021 didn't feel very Nine of Cups for me. I mean, that was the very first thing I felt. However, this is a big old general reading, okay, Leo? So like, for some of you, you may have had a really good year in 2021. However, what I feel like the Nine of Cups represents for you here is it's repre representing you striving for reaching more of a Nine of Cups energy. So this is self-contentment, -content just happiness, you know, and not like ultimate wish fulfillment, mind-blowing happiness, but this is like happiness in terms of like your mundane life, your everyday life, you know, just being good you know what i mean and just enjoying you know maybe even enjoying the little things in life for others of you the nine of cups can represent a level of your comfort zone however leo i really do feel like the nine of cups what i feel like here in terms of what the nine of cups is saying for 2021 for you is that over the process of the year you've gotten a better idea of what it is that truly makes you happy what it is you truly want to experience in your life if it's not that deep for you it just feels like a greater understanding of what just what makes you happy on a basic level you know what i mean um and it feels like it's been kind of pushing you towards striving for change for your life to reflect that and that makes sense because overall energy here at the bottom of the deck right now is the nine of wands and leo this is kind of feeling like the nine of wands is saying don't give up okay don't give up leo persevere keep going and maybe it's that energy that you have been putting forward over the year of 2021 you know i what i'm feeling for you leo is that you've ha kind of had your sights on something something about 2021 either it's just the year as a whole or maybe there were like one or two or a number of certain circumstances that kind of opened your eyes to things 
that made you see what was making you happy and what actually wasn't. And that kind of drove you to create some sort of change. I, do, I really don't feel like, you, Leo, you've been able to really put that change in place in 2021. But that's not, the may, that's not the way it's meant to be. It's not meant to be there yet, okay? This has just been a process of you... <laughs> of you getting a deeper understanding of what would truly make you happy and starting to work your way there. Sorry, I'm laughing because Jinx, one of my cats, is being a little huntress, a little a little lioness over there. <laughs> anyway, all right, Leo, let's continue. What was 2021 like for Leo? What happened for Leo over the course of 2021? First card out here, you have the Empress. What was 2021 like for Leo? With the Seven of Wands... Okay, anything else for Leo for 2021 so far? Okay. All right, Leo, look at that. Overall energy right now, you do have the Five of Cups. Okay. Now, the cards that came out here. Obviously, you heard me say the Empress with the Seven of Wands. But with that came the Star in Reverse. And so this is really just confirming, Leo, that, you know, the year of 2021 was, um, I'm feeling a moment of realization that you may not have been heading in the right direction. Um, uh, however that means for you, take it at a grain of, take that with a grain of salt. Um, you may not have been heading in the right direction or you, what would, what it is you were going after or what you were pursuing, you came to find out really wasn't bringing you that wish fulfillment, wasn't leading you down the path that your soul actually wanted you go, wanted you to go down. Um, I want to, I want to use the term you haven't been, or you weren't, you weren't going down the right path very lightly because honestly, Leo, even though it feels like your path may have shifted heavily this year, it doesn't really, I don't truly want to say that you were going down the wrong path because ultimately all paths are going to lead you to where it is you want to go. I just feel like the major theme for 2021 for you has been realizing that ultimately what it is you've been working towards or what it is you've been striving for really wasn't actually leading you where you wanted to go and thus all of that which is again another reason why I don't want to say that you were going that you were really technically on the wrong path because ultimately that led you to put up boundaries and to start to reconnect with yourself start to reconnect with the abundance of source. Some of you felt lost, very, very lost in 2021. And and I guess, okay, in, that, in terms of that, in, in terms of like having felt like you were lost or something like that, I could totally see why you would rationalize that as I'm going down the wrong path because you felt lost. You felt like you didn't know which way to go. You were wondering why you were even going this way to begin with. Um, you know, starting to really question things. But again, this is why everything happens for a reason, I believe, truly, I believe that because this ultimately got you to not only question that, but reconnect to source and reconnect to the unconditional love of source. Also, reconnect to abund to the abundance that is source. So for some of you, you were actually going down a path that you felt like you were forced to go down, the star in reverse. And that's because that you that's because you didn't believe that there were any more options for you. For some reason, you felt pigeonholed. Okay, and all of this, yes, translates into great sorrow. Sure, there was probably a hell of a lot of sorrow over the year of 2021 for you, Leo. But then underneath that Five of Cups is the King of Cups, to the Six of Cups, to the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, to the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Oh, wow. To the queen of swords. So ultimately this led, I really, I want to say Leo that on an emotional level, from an emotional point of view, 2021 probably helped to make you so much stronger. It probably helped you to help push you into a level of self-awareness and or emotional awareness that you may have been lacking in the past. It also has made you strong enough, King of Cups, to look at the past, Six of Cups, and put certain things to rest, Ten of Swords, which ultimately leads you, or is helping lead you to, your Ten of Cups, your ultimate greater fulfillment, okay? Which is really beautiful. 
which is super, super beautiful. Let's give it one more shuffle here. Anything else, any closing message that you want to give to Leo for the year of 2021, Spirit, please? For Leo? Oh my God, Leo, look at this. Here you are showing up, but the sun. Ultimately, this is a good thing. Ultimately, I'm hearing this has been like the best thing in your life. This is probably the best thing that could have happened to you because it's releasing you of burdens. Wow, it's releasing, it has or and is, whatever, however you want to describe it, releasing you of burdens, the sun to the ten of wands, okay? It showed you, I'm hearing it showed you where your weak points are or were. It showed you where you were carrying burdens that you're no longer meant to carry or probably weren't yours to carry to begin with. It showed you where you were just overburdened. It also showed you how you could lighten the load to then take a leap of faith. The fool. Okay. Underneath the fool is the queen of cups. So there you've got the masculine and the feminine coming. All right. Now what the queen of cups is saying here for you, moving forward in taking this leap of faith as we move out of 2021 into 2022, Leo, the queen of cups is saying, hold your emotional vision is what I'm hearing. All right. Underneath that is the nine of wands again, and back to the knight of wands to the four of wands. You are in a much more balanced, whole, and healthy place, Leo. And it's from this foundation, this Four of Wands energy, that you are now able to create, I just heard, create your destined reality. All right? So hold that emotional vision. And that emotional vision comes in terms of how it is you feel about things, okay? Being aware, being emotionally aware, and allowing yourself to remain emotionally aware and open enough to constantly be in that feeling place to say whoa actually does this really feel good to me or not because i could kind of feel like here leo that you are either you have no plans to go back or spirit is saying to you do not go back to that space of taking all taking on burdens or taking out taking on things out of obligation or agreeing to things that you don't necessarily feel good about or don't feel right to you because that's what got you in that mess before that we had been working on clearing out over the course of this year or 2021 right excellent let's move forward leo we're gonna give this three shuffles and we're gonna look at what 2022 is looking like for you at this time yeah one so what is 22 22 2022 looking like for v for leo this is two and this is three all right leo so what's 2022 looking like for you? What's 2022 looking like for you? Huh? <laughs> A complete release of the past. The very first thing that came out for you, Leo. Shoot, hold on, take this one as well. Yeah. Okay. A complete release of the past. The very first card that came out for you, Leo, is the Six of Cups in reverse. All right? So the past is over with. Um, okay. So what I'm feeling for you, Leo, and what I'm hearing for you is that 2022 is going to be, year, be a year of completions and endings. So this may be the fine this may be the time where you can finally put these situations to rest over the course of this year so that you can in fact move forward. Okay? Your overall energy here is the world to the ace of cups. The world to the ace of cups to judgment to temperance, the ace of wands. Okay, Leo, this is really excellent energy. You're being called out of this energy now. You're being called to put things to rest, to end certain cycles on behalf of self-love, unconditional love even, right? But I also want to point out to you here that the overall energy here in 2022 so far is the world, whereas the overall energy, the final overall energy for 2021 is the fool. So literally, 2021 has been prepping you to, to at least want to take a leap of faith. Now, Leo, you are a fixed energy, so it kind of makes sense to me why... 
it would be such an extended period because I'm feeling through this right now and I'm like, really? This whole year of 2022 is going to be working on releasing this stuff? But yeah, that kind of makes sense because again, Leo, you are a fixed sign. Fixed signs have the most trouble or take the longest to actually put change into their lives or to, to make some sort of change. It's not because of anything that's wrong with you. It's just the nature of fixed energy. Okay, that's what fixed energy does. It holds the momentum, it holds the trajectory. It's not trying to change anything, it's actually trying to maintain what was already put in, in place, right? All right, so for you, Leo, overall energy here, you do have the world, like I said. You have the Six of Cups in reverse. With that, you have the Five of Swords and the Tower. So loud. Anyway, with that, you have the Five of Swords and the Tower. And what I'm getting here for you, Leo, is that you are coming to a realization that whatever it is that you were holding on to in the past was detrimental, was lose-lose. And I feel like you are actually literally just walking away at this point. And that, and that in and of itself, you, Leo, walking away from something or maybe walking away from these things that have been in your life in the past that are no longer meant to be there, that alone is a tower moment. Okay, with this, you have the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, right? So the major theme here over the year, of the year of 2022, is you making decisions on how you can bring greater balance into your life. Uh-oh, I hear rain coming. Okay, well, let's continue. I want to get some more. So what else? Oh, yeah, it's starting to rain. Okay. So what else do we have for Leo for 2022? What else do we have for Leo for... Damn. You guys, you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Hold your own, Leo. Here you are showing up again. You showed up in, this, in the first half of your reading as the sun. It's my neighbor. Anyway, here you are showing up as the sun. I'm sorry, you showed up at the sun in the first half. And now here you are showing up as the king of wands in the second half of your reading. We're going to move over a little bit because I'm under a canopy here. So I should be able to get through this reading without getting soaked. All right. But moving forward, what you have, Leo. Oh, no, everything's still getting wet. Okay, anyway, I just want to finish this before before I leave the session. So um, what you have here, Leo, is the Nine of Wands and Justice, okay? Just hold your center. Keep going. I mean, it, it, see, here's the thing, Leo, because what I just heard and what I just felt was, and I think this might be you saying this, this might be you doubting yourself, but, like, if you thought... If you thought 2021 was hard, then you you don't even know what 2022 is going to be like. But honestly, I don't feel it's I don't feel like it's that way. I don't want to say that for you because I actually feel like it's the opposite. I feel like you might be looking at 2022 and hearing this message and thinking, oh, my God, I can't do this, blah, blah, blah. But actually, Leo, you got through. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to move. You got through 2021. So if you can get through 2021, then obviously you can get through 2022. The struggle for you for 2022, it feels like, Leo, is actually making these changes. Actually struggling with or dealing with the fact, and maybe you're not struggling with it, but dealing with the fact that you are just going to have to hold your own King of Wands, okay? This is a pretty serious one, this King of Wands here you're really going to have the, need to have the strength and tenacity to move forward because there could be a lot of people around you that don't like this change, that don't want you to make this change, that are trying to actively stop you from making this change. But you can't let that happen because this change is bringing greater justice into your life. It's justified, Lego. Okay? Oh, see, Jinx is running. All right. Um, let's close this out. And then I can go back inside so that I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's close out this reading here. Three shuffles. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Leo. This is one. This is two. And 
and this is three. All right, Leo. So, closing oracle guidance for you for this year end review session. What's our closing oracle guidance for Leo, please, Spirit? Oh, I'm hearing a song. I was like, wait a second, I recognize that. But J-Lo reappropriated it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, cool, Leo. Here you go. Your closing oracle guidance just so happens to be card number 11. Uh, Ayansa vision. Way of the divine feminine revealed. And this is so perfect. Okay, so Leo, this could be you. Maybe, potentially, if I feel like maybe some of you are maybe watching this for a Leo. Um, and especially if you're a Leo that resonates strongly with masculine energy, then this makes perfect sense. Especially with the fact that the Empress came out here in the, the beginning for the year of 2021 for you. There was definitely a strong divine feminine, divine feminine resonance or influence in your life over the year of 2021 that caused you to question your circumstances, question your life, question what it is you were going after, right? And instead of going after things from a masculine, egoic point of view of, I have to do this, instead, pursuing things that resonate with unconditional love for yourself. Pursuing things from more of a loving, compassionate, feminine, part so maybe over the so maybe 2021 actually also was uh, a strong rise of the feminine within you if you are more on the masculine side okay wow a leo i didn't even notice this but under at the bottom of the deck here for the year 2022 remember you have the king of wands right so this is your perseverance this is you needing to stand your ground and really continue to move forward with the things that you know you need to do for yourself or you know that are better for you or you know that will lead you to your a greater version of what you truly wish for or desire well underneath that and remember the king of wands represents leo right well underneath that there you go showing up again strength because strength is the official leo card other than the sun right but then also, Leo, and what's very important here, is that you have the King of Swords underneath strength as well. <laughs> so this is a really objective energy, okay? There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's like you see very clearly. It's a, it's a clear, it's basically a cut and dry thing, or it's very black and white, or you have your, you have, I'm also hearing there are very real reasons for why it is you're pursuing what you're pursuing, Leo, at least over the course of this year. So that's yet another reason why you need to hold your own, stand your ground, and really pursue what it is you're being called towards, okay? But let's read this. <laughs> let's read this oracle card, yeah? Way of the Divine Feminine Revealed. All right. This card says, The Divine Feminine yearns to reveal her way and her wisdom to you that you may live passionately and purposefully. As you trust her inner guiding voice, you recognize the authentic desires and visions that move you from within that are the seeds of your sacred mission. You shall experience the clarity and soul-deep relief that only truth can bring. You shall experience a knowing of purpose that awakens your ability to live deliberately and experience deep fulfillment. And this King of Wands energy is definitely an energy of living deliberately. Okay. Yes, Jing. Oh, okay. <laughs> in, a, in a reading, this card says, Ayana Vision is the blossoming awareness of your life purpose and true inner passion. You are being lovingly pushed to admit to your authentic and most passionate soul yearnings, becoming bold with honesty. What means so much to you that you are willing to give up all that you have held on to out of fear so that it may be? Let me ask you that again. What means so much to you 
that you are willing to give up all that you have held on to out of fear so that it may be. What matters enough to you that you would symbolically die and be reborn? With all the endings and unce unce um, uncertainty, excuse me, such growth entails so that your dream can become real. Don't turn away from your yearning out of fear, practicality, or any other excuse to replace faith and uh, to replace faith with doubt. Your truth acknowledged will bring you peace, even if admitting it also means facing the personal transformation required to bring you the truth to life in your world. When it is truth, it is healing. Embrace it. Okay, Leo. I'm going to leave it there because it seems we have quite a bit of interference. So I'm just going to let that go. Yes. But I love you guys. I hope this was uh, helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading in terms of this spread here, okay, where I do this exact spread for you, but on a personal level, okay, which is obviously going to be way more specific and most likely way more accurate, right? Uh, just go ahead and email me. My email can be found in the description box below. Let me know you would like one of these spreads and I will get you all set up. With that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your year and a fantastic 2022 ahead. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes? Beautiful. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>